In this video we'll discuss how to run a report. I'm going to go to it by clicking on Gradebook and I'm going to come over here to Reports. The documentation is going to be better at explaining all the different reports and what your options are so be sure that you open those files uh, and take a look especially at the one that has a short description or synopsis of each of these different videos that you see. I'm just going to pick, pick any of these reports. I'm going to pick the attendance detail report. When that, once I do that I get certain options. Anything that is in the 900 range is something that's Skyward. It's a Skyward default template. There's only a few things I want to go over with you on these. In order to be able to run one of these reports, there's a couple things you need to do. Number one is click on whichever report you want. Now if you click on print, and this is true for anything in Skyward, you're not going to get anything to print to your printer. What's going to happen is it's going to bring up a print queue. That's what you see right here. As it's running right here, you would notice that it's running. It'll tell you that. Once it's completed, it'll tell you that, and it'll pop up with display the report. You'll be able to print this Adobe file however you want to print it. You can come down here and click on print, or you can go to file print within your Adobe Reader, whichever program you're using. So in order to get the things to actually be sent to your printer, you first have to create the Adobe file. And that's done by hitting the printing button. And remember that we did that right over here by clicking on print. Okay? So every time you hit the print button in Skyward, it's first going to create a report for you that you're then going to open or display once that option is given to you. And then once it's open as a as a actual PDF report, that's how you can then go ahead and get the thing to print out to a machine. Now, the other two things I wanted to mention to you are to view the parameters and to clone a template. Okay? If you get into a report and you're not exactly sure what's available or you want to try to adjust it, you can view the parameters of the template. The problem is the Skyward ones that have already been built are not going to allow you the option to change things. If I click on these, nothing allows me to or nothing can be adjusted except for uh, changing the dates but unfortunately I can't even click here so you may get frustrated with that if you try don't try to change a Skyward template you can see what it has but you can't change it but you do have the option of changing templates by first cloning them so if I pick this template and I said that I wanted to clone it it's going to ask me then to give it a sequence number doesn't matter that's just going to be the number that you see next to it you're going to call it whatever you want so I'm just going to call that a test template and you have to click save. Now at that point I now have all of these different features open so if I only wanted the report for a certain time period I would first mark this box. Simply changing the dates doesn't do anything until you mark this box and then you can pick whatever options you have and each report is going to have different options available based on what the report actually has within it. Then you would click save and you'd be able to have your new report that would be run. I'm not going to save this one but you can see that it shows up right there so that's how you can get certain things to change or to kind of create your own uh, reports that only have the information you want. Again, to see specifics about each of those reports, go ahead and look at the written documentation included in this section.